Hi friends, I'm back with another unboxing video. And today's box is Loot Crate. Oh. Alright, so this is, what month are we in? June, so this is May, sorry. <laughs> so this is May's Loot Crate, I believe. Um... So, I've actually had this box for a day already, um, but I haven't had a chance to, sorry, I haven't had a chance to, um, uh, do my video, um, because I've been trying to get things washed and ready for camp. Yay! So, um... Uh, my kids are going to um, the camp through our church for a whole week, and I will be going with them. I'm actually very excited for the second year in a row I get to go with them. What? All right. But anyway, Luke Craig. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. All right. So I do know what's in this box. And I'm actually very excited to share. Sorry, I have things everywhere trying to make sure I have the right stuff out for camp. So, it's everywhere, literally. Alright, so this is my number one favorite thing. And I'm ready to show you guys because I saw that it was in there and then I was like, what? Check that out. Oh. Okay, so... I, I, I'm just super excited. It's Deadpool. How can you not be excited? And then he's popping out of a taco. Like, Taco Tuesday shirt. Like, booyaka. But, um, so, I don't know. I'm just excited. So, I just got my, um, Deadpool straw at the 7-Eleven down the street for me. And then I saw that they have this shirt. And I'm just like, ah! But, so... Yay! I won't be taking it to camp with me because I don't want it to get messed up, but I will be, um, oh, that's a small, I'm a medium, I wonder if my husband, nope, but, I, you know what, I'm still in where I'm losing weight, so I'll be getting down to where either this is right now really tight on me, or it's going to be really loose on me soon, because sister's already down two more extra pounds, so. I'm going to be back in the small. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Alright, and then we have the wallet. Uh, it's a really neat kind of wallet. Um, looks like, like a waterproof wallet. Uh, you can have it around, like, I don't know, uh, pools, whatever. Don't have to worry about it getting messed up. Um, this so reminds me of the wallets that I used to go to the store and buy when I was little like because I wanted a wallet not knowing that female wallets are uh, different than male wallets I just wanted a wallet <laughs> so I used to go get these from the store down the street from me all the time but I think this is really cool and then okay what does it say there's always there's always money in the banana stand arrested development I don't know the TV show but this is a cute little wallet I'll probably definitely give this to uh, my six-year-old who wants a wallet just like his brother's. And what I mean, like, just like his brother's, one that folds out like this. So, and he likes bananas. Like, his favorite thing to eat is bananas. So, I don't know if there's, like, any other, like, reason behind banana for the show because I don't not know the show, if it's a show. Um, but he likes to eat bananas. Like, that's his favorite fruit. It's a banana. I mean... I don't see why it wouldn't be a good gift for him. Alrighty, on to the next one. We have Archer. Okay, this is definitely a show not for kids. I used to watch it all the time, and now I watch it here and there because now I just like hardly ever watch TV unless I'm like watching a movie or something like horror related. Uh, but I can say Archer is an extremely funny adult cartoon show. If I can figure out how to open this box, this would be great. 
Am I opening it the wrong way? I guarantee you I'm opening it the wrong way. Let me see. Haha! -ha. I was opening it the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so this is a Loot Crate exclusive. And... Let's see. Oh! It's Archer drinking a beer, looks like. And putting up the uh, hold on a minute, don't talk to me until I'm done with this beer finger. I dropped my fan already. Oh, where did you go? Okay, there it is. Ah! Alright. So, let me stick that on there. I never really put these together during the show, but this is a pretty, 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 pretty easy one to snap on there, so. This is not a TV show. Sorry, there we go. That I would ever, ever suggest that children watch. Because that's how crazy it is. So that's the figure. That's not bad. Just pretty simple, pretty plain. You know. It's cool. Probably put it up with the rest of my figures. What's even crazier about this is that there's detail on the bottom. And on his face. Let me see if I can give you a close-up of that. I don't know if it'll actually focus because I'm on my iPad mini. So, I don't know if you can see that, but he has three scars right there. And then the bottle has a little, like, writing and stuff on it. But, yeah, that's kind of neat. Alrighty, let's move on. The Big Lebowski. Now, I haven't seen that in forever. So, I can't say that I'm, like, overly excited about the pin. But this is a really neat pin, though. I remember when I did watch it, it was hilarious. It was funny. Definitely not uh, kid-appropriate. But, it's a neat pin. I've never seen one, kind of like like this before. I never saw, you know, seen like one from Loot Crate like this before. So, I like that. I like the colors too. And I like that it has like the bowling pins in the back too. That's neat. Alright, and then we have the Punisher decal. Alright, so the movie is awesome. The TV show is awesome. There's not much more to be said about the Punisher. Like, that's just it. It's just, it's overall just really good movie, really good TV show. Um, the late, like, I think there's like a couple versions of the movie, but I like the latest one that they did. But obviously the TV show is like I, the latest of the Punisher remakes. And I personally think that it is awesome and that... It does really well into going into the other TV shows like, um, I believe is Jessica Jones it goes into, uh, Daredevil, I think it goes into, um, uh, Luke Cage, I think it goes into Luke Cage, I can't remember, um, and The Iron Fist, I think it's a part of that whole series. Um, I do know that the lawyer from the Daredevil, the female lawyer, goes between, like, she knows the Punisher and the Daredevil. That much I do remember, and on Luke Cage, she made a couple cameos in there, too. So, I think she kind of makes all three of them kind of go into one, and then there's, like, a couple times where they kind of overlapped with each other, just in general. But, I mean, I like it. I like it. I like it. That's all I can say. Um, and then we have the last thing in the box, which is a bonus for this box. And I'm actually really happy that it's a bonus because it is the Daredevil poster. Ah, the famous iconic scene. And I can't even remember the name of the movie. So uh, let me tell you how lazy I am. 
my husband and I were having a big discussion about what movie this scene is from, and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. And I still can't figure it out for the life of me. And I didn't even go back and Google it like I usually do. Like, oh, come on, April, get it together. So I'm going to go and look that up. But I like this print. Um, I think it would have been cool if the print came in, like, one of the little plastic, um, like, wraps with, like, a board on the back so it didn't get, like, bent or messed up. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's not messed up. My son kind of crinkled it a little bit when he was trying to get it out of the box um, for me uh, a couple of days ago when we first got the box. And then I had to tell him, nah, -uh, leave it alone. And then I got it out of the box. But because of that, there's like a little small dent in there. But, I mean, who doesn't like this scene? Um, I think the TV show that goes off that movie is called Glow, but I don't remember the name of the movie. So, but that's all we have for the box. And on the inside of the box, it has, like, little archer thing. I don't know if you saw that earlier when I was opening it up. Um, but this is the first time that there's, like, a box that I really can't do much with. Um, I like archer, but it's not one of, like, my top favorite shows to be able to set this box up anywhere. But, yeah. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, I will give this box about 7 only because, like, it's a cool box. I don't dislike it, but, like I said, I like Archer, um, but I'm not, like, a huge Archer fan where I would go out and buy, like, the figure or whatnot. And I do think the figure is, like, cool. I, I'm not going to, by any means, give it to anyone, but, I mean, it is cool. Um, I don't know much about the show that this came from uh arrested development i've heard the name a few times but i don't know the show so that doesn't excite me a whole lot um the big lebowski i like this pen it's just been forever since i've seen the movie um but like i said earlier i do remember liking the movie a lot when i saw it and i do believe it's like a comedy movie but I just don't remember it to be extremely excited. So for me, that just means I need to go and find the movie and watch it again. Like, that's literally all that means. And then once I watch the movie again, I'm sure I will be even more excited about that. But I'm extremely excited about the Punisher decal. I'm really excited. Both of them fell on the floor. Um, I'm extremely excited about the poster. I do like this. But most of all, I'm excited about the shirt. Like, that's an awesome shirt. That makes me a fun. Alright. I have to call that person back later. But, so yeah, 7 out of 10. So not bad, but not on my oh my goodness scale. Um, but I'm also an over-exaggerator, so, I mean, some of you guys might think that, you know, this box is an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, but, you know, we're all obligated to our own opinions. So, but anyway, that is it for the box, and I will see you all next time. Bye.